A clean and organized shop is definitely the way to go through life. And the rigid pro pack is definitely going to help you get there. So here it is. This is the rigid four and a half gallon 5.0 peak horsepower wet dry shop vac. So this one is a portable solution, model number WD45500. Here's a nice little uh, 360 of it. The first time I looked at this, I was wondering, is it a toolbox and a shop vac because it has these latches right here? The answer is no. This is actually one big portable shop vac. So it does run wet and dry. It has everything you need right here. It's, it's just a really handy item. So instead of having the uh, big pull behind ones that you've seen, if you're gonna transport with you, they're, they're really not that portable and easy to store. Or this is basically like a toolbox. So you could put this, you know, essentially with your toolboxes when you store it, or in your trunk, or the back of your truck, or the back seat of your truck. And let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the features. First of all, the carrying handle. Then uh, each side folds up. All right, so you have a couple of cleaning accessories right here for easy storage. And then right here is where, if you want to hook the hose up as a blower, that would go right here. All right, so on this end right here, first of all, this is a seven foot collapsible hose. So this isn't like that cheap hose that you've seen. This is really a, a nice expanding high quality hose. And like some of those other ones, they just don't seem to like work around things where this feels, uh, kind of like a premium grade. So this would clip over here on this end. This is the intake. Okay. So if you want to extend it, here's some onboard storage right here for, let's say you want to do some floor sweeping with this. Check it out. All right, let's go back over here a minute. Here's also another crevice tool right here so that can go on the end. And then on the end of this right here, let me uh, aim it towards so you can see the sunlight is coming from there. If you twist that, that's a way to control the flow of it. So if the suction, if you want it more, you close it. If you want it less, you can open that up and that'll kind of control so you're not having quite such heavy suction. All right, so if you want to use this as a blower, you can. Right here, that would be a blower. You know, I haven't tested it out as a blower, so I'm curious. So let's, um, let me plug it in real quick. All right, so here is the power cord. I believe it's a 20 foot cord. Here's the switch ready. Make sure I close that, all right. Okay, not bad. So as far as the blower feature works, this would work great for like going over to your compound miter saw or table saw, blowing all the sawdust off so it goes on the floor. That way you can go to your floor sweeper like this and vacuum it up. All right, so let's try this out. Locking that in there, just seeing what the suction is like. We've seen what the blowing action is. Take a look at the inside. This is a three layer filter. It's known to have maximum filtration so you can pull up all types of different dust, sawdust, even drywall dust, which is really like a game changer for me. There's some vacuums that I've used over the years where you start vacuuming drywall dust and all of a sudden the whole room is <laughs> filled with drywall dust and it's actually worse than if you would have just like swept it up. So I'm glad to see that this can handle that. If you're going to use this as a wet vac, they recommend that you take this off. You can just see how quick and easy this is to pop off there. They do say that you can do a little bit of light uh, liquids with this, um, but if you're gonna do anything a little more substantial to take this off, and then if you do get it wet, that you should dry this out before using it again. Otherwise you get like mildew that could form on there. I am going to test this out on some water in a little bit, so I'll take that off in a minute. 
So this is the inside where you're going to collect your water or your dirt or dust, whatever. And one of the things I'm thinking about doing is putting a label on the top right here that will say like power cord and this side will say accessories. So I've noticed in the first couple of days of using this, I'm often opening up the wrong end first. So I think that might just make this uh, work a little easier for me personally. I'm not sure about you, but it just kind of reminds me of a gym duffel bag that I used to have where I'd often open up the wrong end. So I think that'll just streamline using this for me. Let's go over some of the specs. This has 107 CFM, nine amps of power, 120 volts. It weighs 16 and a half pounds. So if you check the ratings on it, you'll see a lot of people have reviewed it and give it a four and a half star rating on average. So I'm very excited for that. The nice thing about this, it's gonna store really easy. It's gonna have a lot of power because it's AC powered. It'd be nice to have it battery, but it's not gonna have as much runtime and as much, quite as much power. So, uh, and that'll keep it lighter as well too. So that I really like about it. Very portable, very easy to stack stuff on top. Uh, the nice thing with the storage on this side right here, there's a little bit more room if you wanna keep a few cleaning supplies, like a, a little travel size of Clorox wipes or something like that, that easily you could fit a couple of those in there. So I think people might be wondering if they want to go with something without wheels, but I think the more they use this, the more you're going to find this design to be really handy. And the fact that it has a lifetime warranty, that's amazing. This is one of my favorite accessories that it doesn't come with. I bought this at Home Depot, but it, it does fit. It's a, the car nozzle. This is just kind of my favorite way to clean my vehicle. So one of the other tests I want to put it through that I mentioned before is seeing how fast it can draw up a gallon of water. So let's get it ready for that. Okay, like I mentioned, when you're going to draw water out, you want to take the filter off. I have probably a little bit more than one gallon of water, so we'll just kind of time it and see how long it takes to drain that much. Okay, ready, set. <laughs> Okay, that was quick. <laughs> As you can see, just a little splash. And that was just over a gallon. All right, so I will put that time down below how long that took in my post editing. All right, we're in my garage now. I have the floor nozzle. Right here is a bunch of sawdust I just made with about 20 roofing nails. All right, so I put this through all the tests and it passed them with flying colors. The very first time that I was using it on the roofing nails, I think I bumped this a little bit and had that slightly open. So halfway through, I made sure it was closed. And the second time, picking up the other 20 roofing nails, it did a great job. It seems to work a little better when you take this off and go straight to the roofing nails with this. At first, I wasn't sure if I wanted something without wheels, but then when I started using this and just grabbing by the big handle, it seemed to work really well. I was thinking if I was working around some cars and wanting something that where this would wheel around, I do have a furniture dolly, those little four wheel things, the carpet, they have carpet pads on them. And I could strap this down on that if I felt like there's ever an occasion out here on this big concrete area if I want to pull this around and do cleaning that way. But overall, I think it's just as easy to grab this and move it to your spot where you need it. If you have any questions about this, please put them down below. I will have a link, a Home Depot link. Please check that out to get any specs that I haven't mentioned or seen the reviews. And if you find this video interesting and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right, so please click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. If you wanna see what I'm up to throughout the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. All right friends, enjoy.